My name is William Freeman, um, organizer of Man of Purpose Incorporated. I'm here with Will, um, a high schooler, asking me questions about my story. And Will, it's on you. I'm a returning citizen. Um, I'm a four-time loser. Uh, this fourth time being incarcerated has changed my life tremendously. Going back from this fourth time to the beginning of my life um, as a senior in high school, skipped school in class in 1985 to find my brother smoking crack cocaine when the epidemic started in the Palm Beach County. Um, from 1985 to 2019, well, 2016 was the last day that I smoked crack cocaine. I've been clean ever since. I found purpose, my purpose, and what I'm here for. Every person in this world have a purpose, and we don't know our purpose until our story comes. My testimony is um, four-time loser in prison, four-time loser. I have four kids from four different women. I've been married four times, and today I can truly say that I love myself more than anything in the world besides Christ. What I do is I try to talk to every returning citizen or anybody that is that don't know about voting or don't know about the programs that returning citizens have. And I try to help them out to better themselves as well as register them to vote. I voted for the first time in the primary this year. As a returning citizen, our wives, our mothers, our fathers, our, the community, the citizens of Florida um, passed Amendment 4 bill. As a returning citizen, I must vote because of that Amendment 4 bill. Even though it says returning citizens have to pay the court costs and fines, I think that with if we pay our court costs and fines, we can vote. If we don't pay our court costs and fines, we still should vote because everything from this point on has changed in our communities, in our country. Um, and I'm not talking about just the president, I'm talking about our local lawyers, our local uh, government, the, the, the state attorney, the public defender, the judges. If we don't vote, we can go out and protest 24 seven. And if we don't make our voices and our vote count, it doesn't mean anything. As I said, I'm a four-time loser. So the first chance, the second chance, the third chance, and now it's the fourth chance. I believe every individual do something wrong that need an opportunity to clean their wrong up. Um, whether it be my mom make a mistake and show favoritism to a, a little one than myself, I still can't stop loving my mom. So you gotta give every person a second chance whether i'm behind closed doors whether i'm just a free person um you got to give a person an opportunity to make their wrong right it's something that made me feel so good on the inside knowing that i have a voice not only a voice something i can put on paper saying that I voted, um, or I, my vote counted in this election and elections to come. For me, voting for the first time in our primary, it was so awesome. Some of the people that I voted for didn't win, but it wasn't even about them winning or losing. It was about me casting my vote. It was a, a excitement that I never had before. It's something that I would do and I would tell everybody else to do because you never know the exciting moment once you cast your vote. That's why it's so emotional to me.